A bizarre murder commanding the attention of the Bear County Sheriff's investigators. New at noon, we've learned the name of the woman who was killed and the husband who investigators say has confessed to her murder. Investigators say they found the woman, 24-year-old Katrina Danielle Garrick, strangled inside her townhome near Loop 1604 and military. The man accused of killing her, 24-year-old Jonathan Garrick. As Case at 12's Katrina Weber reports, investigators say it all began when he came in to confess. Deep within the confines of this far west Bear County townhome complex, a sheriff's homicide team tries to get inside the mind of a killer. They're looking for clues about the murder of a woman found strangled early this morning at the townhomes at West Creek. She was found in a bedroom. She was found on the bed, and it was obvious that she had been strangled. We captured video of crime scene investigators arriving seconds before we were ordered off the property. Photos provided by the sheriff's office give a better look inside. Although the case is in their hands now, a spokesman says it began with a confession at SAPD's Prue Road substation. He says the woman's husband told police he did it, apparently at the urging of a relative. The relative told him, you're going to turn yourself in, let's go get in the car. So the relative drove him to the police substation. When the man showed up here, he was, according to investigators, highly distraught. In fact, they described him as being hysterical when he made his confession. We don't know a motive. We don't know what was going through his head or what he may have been thinking whenever he did this. The couple, both in their 20s, had no known history of violence. They did have children, though, and signs in their backyard point to them being very young. Investigators say they were home when their mother was killed, but it's unclear if they witnessed it. Katrina Weber, KSAT 12 News. So we expect to get his arrest affidavit later this afternoon. That should outline what homicide investigators know so far and what may have led to the wife's murder.